channel my name is crab queen and today i like to start with a new project but first i like to uh, introduce you the papers that i'm going to use so yep i made already a ribbon a ribbon set and a bag of full of yeah full of cool items that i choose for this so but that is not the most important thing so what i have i'm going to use um the chow bella papers not V. oh my god yep i'm just gonna unpack this for you guys so you will do not see well maybe well do you have really good packaging you even can reuse this for windows all right cool why I'm just throwing that away. All right, so I have one A4 piece. That's the creative pad. I have the paper pad 8 by 8 And I have, by the way, I have two sets of these. So I have one set, 8 by 8 And I have another set. I already used this. It's the same one. I also, I also I just use this for um, to see what kind of ribbons that I wanted. So that, oh, I don't want to put these together. Anyways, and I have two six by six. So yeah, it's a huge. Diane, just don't talk that crazy. It's a huge set of papers to use. All right, so we have two times the six by six. How many papers are inside here? 24, 24 designs. Double, two times. You have the eight by eight. These are 12 pages. That's also double. And then you have one A4 creative pad. And these are, um, or 17? 17? Nine, nine double-sided pages. And I'm gonna give you a little walk through. They are amazing. Okay, first what I do is one eight by eight and one six by six. I put this away because I always like to uh, make first one set um, that I use all the papers and then go more to my next set. So I don't want to use too many times the same papers. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through the eight by eight first. Oh, so if you love um, city trips and romance and beautiful pastel colors, then this is your collection. I really love it, not to be. All right, so this is the front and here we have the back. I love this pastel green, so easy to use. And then these little tags on the back, it's a really nice bonus. Love these cuddling birds. And this this is one of my favorite pages, this one. It's very dreamery and I really like the, the red and the white. That's why I have could not resist to add a red ribbon in it. You would think what does a red ribbon does in this set, but that this, this is a page which I could not resist. So cute so adorable and then the back is very clean it's not clean but very solid with some splashing and uh, smoochy areas and some lyrics so that is cool now this is my second favorite one <laughs> uh, for those who maybe know how my garden looks like um, very purple white and blue so uh, adorable really like it and yes this reminds me of my bicycle at the time I also had a um, a Rotan basket in front of me and I also had a grandma bike. Oh, love these bikes. I even now have a, a, a grandma steering on my new bike. <laughs> At least. And um, let's go to the back. This is some nice light green with some mint and white ornaments. Oh, it, I just love this. This page would hard to choose which one, but we can manage because I, that's why I ordered two sets. This is a nice cutout, um, a cutout sheet, little envelopes and little tags, and these corners are enormous fun to use. And then on the back, um, very nice plain colors, but also a very nice um, piece of paper uh, for to use as a background. 
Then we have this piece. Oh my God, yeah, I could not resist looking for a nice ribbon that fits with this color. Amazing. <laughs> I did my best with the ribbons. Uh, for those who know me longer than today, I do my best. I always do my best. Love this image. I really am very fond of our libraries. And, and oh my God, these two old people in front of the windows. Oh, so cool. Love this page. And then the back, now this, oh my, why? I, now I can't choose because this front is the same as this one. So, oh, and this one is so gorgeous. I love it, love, love, love. So many things to see and still very solid. Cool. Now here we have the another one. So cool, a nice cup of coffee. I think this is even a glass of hot choco with a, oh, uh, Macron, love it, so nice. I also saw this in London, the cafes that I that I have really much flowers on the outside, love it, so cool. And then yeah, the back is the same a little bit as the front. So yep, front and back, you can use it. Now this one, I love these artists. You see them in every big cities when they do their drawings on the street love them love 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 them so cool and here we have those birds back again and then we have a nice flowery background we have another nice cut out sheet all kind of little pieces i think we're gonna use these are absolutely stunning to use on what i have in mind so oh my gosh oh this is almost the same as the other one <gasps> perfect oh it is the same yes goody 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 <laughs> i'm nuts i know papers make me happy papers really makes me happy all right this one i did not see already love it love the birds love the background super cute also a very nice delicate pastel colors background love it so easy to use here we have a nice interesting you also can use this as strips but i think i would use it this way then so cool oh Ooh. okay these are really nice fancy letters and some nice ornaments on the back really like this page so cool all right here we have a nice cutout i think the eight by eight is, is, is big enough that's it's not only that I don't um, use the 12 by 12 that much but yeah some some papers do have big uh, images uh, for example um, for example like this one imagine that you have this image in a 12 by 12 how do you ever use it you need to make a big album and I'm not not fan of small albums but I think an 8x8 eight eight is, is more than enough so especially the tags are big enough for put in the pocket oh my gosh look at this the colors huh <gasps> there was not not much colors in it but it's so gentle so cool love it oh oh they have nice background so you don't have to glue it down oh that is a hard thing for me because normally I glue everything down <gasps> But this you can't. I just can't put this down on anything because the back is even more beautiful than the front. Well, almost. <laughs> and then this last one, a very nice, cool background with these nice big flowers. Oh, yes. And then we have this fancy. Oh, my gosh. I love this. If I must say, I love the building more than this lady, but it's so classic. Oh my gosh, love it. All right, so that is the eight by eight, which we have two. So that is amazing. I will go, will quickly go through the six by six because I think they are pretty much the same. This we have also, but then a little bit smaller, but so cool oh these square ones we don't have that oh my gosh <gasps> oh those are cute front and back all right here we have this one again yes this one 
So I think most of the papers are. Oh, this one we. I, this one we don't have. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, this is my one of my favorite color combinations. So cool. See, the 6x6 is so easy to use this for pockets and everything. Love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, this one I also didn't see. Here we have the small pants. Cool. Oh, this one I also didn't see. All right, so the 6x6 is definitely different. Maybe these are in the 12x12 then? I have no clue because I don't have it, but I will not miss it because I don't have it. All right, so the 6x6, I always love them to use. And then the A4 piece, the creative pad. What do I love about these? I'm going to show you because they have beautiful cutouts. This one is the same as the 8x8, the back. So, but oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I hope that I am in frame with everything. See, and now, oh my gosh, I love these. So these are smaller than... The 8x8 and a little bit bigger than the 6x6. But what's on the back? Oh, my favorite one. Oh, yes. <laughs> I always wanted to say goody, goody, goody. <laughs> Love this one. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Cutouts. The creative pad is definitely um, designed for nice tags. Now look at this. This, for those who knows me, knows what I'm going to do with that. Oh yes, definitely going to make that cool for nice edges and pockets and everything. Inserts. Cool. Love it. Now what's on the back? Thank God, no cutout, so you don't have to choose. Because I'm definitely going to cut out, I think, everything. Alright, now we have another cutout. Oh my gosh, I love it. What's on the back? <gasps> Thank God, no cutouts. I can remember years ago when I used the Ciao Bella um, a creative pad that they have a front and back for the cutout. Oh my gosh, that is so hard to decide which item you want to cut out or which one you can't cut out. So thank God they did it correctly. And if you don't want to use these images, then you have a nice full background. Yeah, cool. Thank God, they changed that. Cool, cool. I love these to so make, um, how you call that, swing closures. Love these, so, so fancy. I think I even have some of those in my bag. I do, somewhere, some buttons. So cool. And then you have this at the background. <laughs> I'm peeking if the background is solid on the back. Oh my gosh, this keeps going and going and going. Oh my, look at these little tags. Oh, and these beautiful, beautiful post stamps. Oh, cool. Oh, and the back, the back. Look at this. Yeah. So cool. I even can't read what it says, but love it. Love it. All right, we have another cutout. Another cutout, beautiful tags right here. Nice envelope, maybe you can cut out this one and make an envelope with it, so cool. Yeah, the ideas are running through my head already. That's what I normally do. I just pick up the papers and first watch them very carefully. I take my time for that. Let the images go through my brain. <laughs> Love these. These are bigger, but you can fold these down and make nice booklets with them. Oh, my favorite one is also inside here. Oh, cool. And then the last cutout. The last cutout. Some small stamps, small little pieces. Oh, wow, I love it. Eiffel Tower. Again, some of these, the pretty much, so that is cool. So we can use it. And another beautiful background. Okay, did I say too many? Who of you love this? And I know it's not a new one, but I had this in my head for a pretty long time. And 
And maybe it's also the fault because uh, a dear friend of mine had this collection and she showed it to me uh, before she even started uh, her project. I definitely need to ask to film the project that she made with this one. Um, so when I saw it, I fell in love with it and one day I was needing to find new papers for a new kit and I think that's the one that's, that was still in my mind and I had to get it. Alright, so guys, what do you think? The A4 set... 2 times 8 by 8, 2 times 6 by 6. I think that's plenty enough to do a nice project with. Alright guys, let's see what we can do with that. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I think that we are going to do a square me album again. It's been a long time it's been, yeah, that I did a square one. So, um, so what size cover I am going to do. I still need to cut it. Um, so I'm going to use the 7.5 by 8 inch. Um, that is not a square then, Diane. No, it's not. It's why. Why I even mention this? God, I am terrible. Alright, wait just a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, I am, um, I have no clue that I write something down and it does not make sense at all. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> so I cut mine right away because otherwise I keep with the folds. Um, so this is square, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be 814 by 814 inch, all the way around. And you need two of these, and in centimeters that's 21 by 21 centimeters. All right, so just to make sure that I do not speak nonsense, 8 1 fourth and 21, yes. <laughs> and 8 1 fourth and 21, all right, cool. Nice square one. And then um, what I have left is a 338 by 8 1 fourth. So that's 8.5 centimeters by 21 centimeters. So that is what I have left. I only need one. So maybe this I can do something else with it. So maybe even on the spine. Who knows? Anyway, so if you want to measure mens correctly, 8 1 fourth by 8 1 fourth or 21 by 21 centimeters. And that's 338 by 8 1 fourth. Or 8.5 by 21 centimeters. Alright, write it down, guys. Write it down. Alright, so that is our base for the cover. Alright, so um, then what I did, I made tunnels. And uh, we're going to do one together um, to make sure that I have the correct size. But even that I changed a little bit. But this is... I believe the correct the correct one, but let me just do one together. So yep, with that I also changed it a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. All right, so grab a piece of paper. All right, so um, I do use A4. People who who are new to our channel, I use always an A4 piece. Um, and that is um, 21 by 29 and a half centimeters or 814 by 11 5 of an 8 inch. Now I use Clairefontaine 160 gram and I mostly use black or pearl gray. This time I use black again just because I love it. Really matches the colors. But I will give you all always the, but always, that is not a promise. I am terrible in measurements so I do my best. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut my first piece and seven and a half. All right, seven and a half it is by nine one eight. All right, nine one eight, and then I'm gonna score on this piece. I'm gonna score half inch. 
and an 858. Okay, so I have on both sides a nice half inch hinge. There you go. We can attach some tape already on it if you want. go it's not needed but sometimes I do like to have a fraction of a little corner out so just a little tiny one all right so that is step one now we need to cut the same size on this okay so I'm gonna go have another piece of paper I'm gonna cut this eight by seven and a half. Here we go. So that's the base. You can save all what you cut out. You can save that for pockets later. You never know. All right, now let's check it out. Now this will fit on here. So let's give this a try. Yep, it does. What I like to do Peel off a little corner. And first, I'm going to go on the white side where the tape is still attached. Make it fit. Then I go to the left corner and then I just kind of wiggle a little around till I have it completely on its place. And I just can peel off my tape on the left side. And now I only have to go on this side to peel it off there you go finish it down and there is your little tunnel now grab back just an extra check grab your chipboard and you'll see that this fits nicely with a little space on the top and bottom and as you can see we also have some space on the left side and right side now I like to have that extra hinge on the left so this comes a little bit to here see so we still have a little bit space so that is what we want we don't want to go all the way to the bottom because then your pages are going to be too straight and stiff we don't want it so I normally use that extra hinge so we have a little bit more space and I do like to have this also a little bit away from the edge. Alright, so that is why I use these measurements. Alright guys, so for those who like to write the measurements, so I need two A4 pages but just two pieces of papers and uh, you need to cut that down 9, 1, 8 by 7.5 and, and then on the long side you score half inch and eight five of an eight or on each side a half inch that's totally up to you and then you need another piece of paper you cut that eight by seven and a half inch all right um yeah i do i did not put any centimeters on here because of the scoring so um but i did with the cover hmm all right so i don't know why i did that but let me check it out so the 918 yeah i truly recommend for the centimeters users that you will get a ruler that also have inches and centimeters on it because it's easier for me to only do inches i hope you forgive me for that but i noticed that i do more and more only inches so and that's I think the most reason is because I only have um, a scoring board in inches and I do have a centimeter one but it is you can you can't use that together it, it's totally different centimeters and inches are just different and I just like to use the inches from from now on so not from now on I use it for years but yeah ah, okay 
So that is what we have right now. We have the chipboard and we have the tunnel. I don't know exactly how much that we can do on this spine. Let's say if you want to have it the tightest way, then you don't see this one two page. Let's say I don't know how fat the pages are going to be, but let's say each half inch, something like that. Then we can make even seven pages, but I think six, six pages would be more than, than enough. Um, I don't know exactly, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we will see. I'm just going to start with page one. And from there on, we are going to make more. So I'm definitely going to make a few of these tunnels. That is the base page. The base tunnel. All right, write it down, guys. Write it down. You need to have to make a few more. All right? Okay, let's get started. In this album, i also going to use um, a few... Well, a few. I don't know how many, but... Um, photo mats that we are going to cut in and I did that of course I do that more often but um, um, oh how that does that album it's a wedding album something with tender Tenderness. I don't know exactly <laughs> but at least um, I'm gonna make a few I don't know how many guys I really don't know but it's it's easier to have a few ready so you can add your 4 by 6 photo on here because this is 4 by 6 yep so you can add it on and I do have a flap on top and then with this one, same size, but then I have the flap on the small piece. So what you're going to cut out, I do have my flap a little bit longer than a half inch. Um, because, um, well, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Alright, so for the landscape, we are going to cut the paper at 6 by 4, 3 fourth. All right, and then on this, of course, we're going to score a three-fourth. And then we have a nice landscape photo mat, which we can cut in a page. All right, and then for the other one, always save these little pieces. You never know where you need these for. And then the next piece is, uh, maybe it's easier... Mm, yeah, it, maybe it's easier to first cut the 4 inch and then the 6 3 4 um, Here it is. And then of course the 3 4 score line, which we made now a nice landscape photo mat with a 3 4 inch. Alright, so those, we do need a few, not that many but just a few so it's easy to grab where we are working um, because it's so fun to add a few of these um, in one page so you can flip around you can make a closure so I kind of want to I have my inspiration from that album the the wedding album and um, because I do have a lot of embellishment and I do want to use that on the pages. And with that, I also see that So guys, oh God, I am so distracted today. I don't know what happened. But <laughs> um, so and in that album, I also used a lot of embellishment on the page and um, so we're gonna do again also the protection page uh, with which, which we can protect all of these so that is uh, a good thing to do 
<laughs> a lot of ribbons. I already unpacked it so it can set down for a change. For a change. Oh God, the worst, the worst, the worst. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is um, what I'm gonna do. Um, I do have a new cutting machine that I like to um, um, use doing this tutorial um, because you can you can give a nice um, um, review on something, but um, you need to, of course use it oh my gosh the worst the worst all right so but then again i i just can't get rid of my 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 wheel memory cable so it's it's oh my gosh all right so let's see if i just cut the papers a few so that would be a four it really does it, but yep, here we go again. The 634. I don't have. I don't have the 634. It's really a shame, guys. Why? Why? See, so again, I need to go back with my our memory keepers. Only for this, also. Ugh. I hate it. I really hate it. I hate it. I do love this one because you see all the measurements yeah guys so so many questions why do you use your wheel memory keepers the blades you need to exchange so many times well absolutely not absolutely not i think with one with one blade i do pretty much already so nope i just love this one you can score and cut i can't say that enough There we go, and it's done. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, but it is the truth. Why do they not put all the measurements? Is it that hard? Is it that hard? But it, it really cuts nice, guys. So I still have it on my left side. Uh, my Fiskars is watching me right now from the other desk. <laughs> Why now? Why are you leaving me? Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> I just wanted to um, test out the the Tim Holtz um, media cutter. I just wanted to test it out. I already made a little unboxing video with it. And now I really like to test it out. But I already noticed a few uh, things that um, that bothers me. So that definitely the measurement is, is not okay. And what I noticed is... Um, let's say I have my cutter right here on my left side and we all know that I am a mark cutter so I put a mark on and oh wait just a sec I have my mark on the bottom yeah I do have sometimes my mark at the bottom so if you have your mark up no problem I can put it right here and I can watch in between white white here i can watch in between let's put it right here you can see it better um i can line it up with here so that's that's perfect but if i want to cut with my mark then i have to watch right here so i need to watch through here so not i move my head right now so my eyes bumps in here so i have to move to the left to see what i'm going to cut is it a problem? Nope, it isn't. But if I have my measurement at the bottom and I want to cut, I don't see because this is in the way, so I have to move it up. Is that a problem? Oh, no, no, but I do like to cut it upside down each time. And so I each time need to move it, move it. But okay, it's it's still it works like a charm. It does. It does, it does, it does. Yep. Okay, but that's just something that I noticed just now. Alright, but I'm not here to review that one. 
make another video for that. All right, so I do have quite, well, not a lot, but I do have a few photo mats with a hinge, so that's good to go. Oh, I did. <laughs> my stomach is, uh, my stomach is uh, getting hungry, I guess. All right, so. Oh yeah, I made this page. Oh, it was a tryout. An extra pocket page. Well, we can use it later because I still don't know. Yeah, I am always picky at the, at, at the start. I am so picky at the start. But once the first page is done and I do cut my papers, these beautiful, gorgeous papers, then I'm good to go. But the first... The first few hours are ridiculous slowly with blah 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's just how I am. Okay. <laughs> I am watching this for a half hour right now and Diane, don't think too much. Well you all know it's the first page, so yeah. Alright, so I just cut the line. Don't think too much. We are going to make this extra page that I that was just a little tryout, but um, we're going to make that. So um, we are going, I write something down. Um, so I'm going to grab another A4 page. Let's see if I have this correctly. Um, yep, we're going to score. Yeah, and for those who does not have an exactly same size paper, this is what I have. 21 by 29 and a half centimeters or 814 by 11.5 of an 8 inch. So, but yes, yeah, that's what I use. Nice. So, so I'm going to score a 3 fourth first. 3 fourth, And then I need to score an 8 on the short side okay then we have this um oh, wait just a second i need it let me first fold this oh i bumped in my thumb while cooking oh my god i was cutting a piece of meat <laughs> and for some reason i just used the potato knife and i needed to squeeze because it was a frozen piece of meat God, I pushed so hard that even the blade broke down, and so I bumped in with my nail on on the on the table. Oh my God, that hurts! That hurts so much. All right, so here we have our three fourth hinge. And then we're just gonna fold this forward. Very nice pocket size. And then this little guy we bent inside and that's why I cut down this little angle. If you need more then just cut out a little bit more because you don't want to have any bumping. See that's that's so much better. See that? All right so we fold this inside and as you can see now we don't have anything on here. We don't like that, so we're going to make a, um, I bet you have a small piece left right here. So, let's just use what we have. Alright, make the same size. Let's make a score line. Half inch will do. Not particularly any size you like. There we go. And then this comes in between right here. So I'm first going to add some tape on it and then I'm going to cut down the little corner. Oh, well, I normally would use my thumb to hold this down. That is a big no-no for now. Oh my gosh, that hurts. 
I think it will be a black nail. And I need to go to the nail stylist tomorrow, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that's gonna be a hurtful session. <laughs> All right, cut this down, guys. And then just put this in between. Let me first put this away for just a moment. That's better. <laughs> Let's have a good seat, guys. Let's have a good seat. Okay, put this away. And... There you go. Now you can also add some tape on this side. There you go. Well, I don't think it's necessary, but let's just cut this one. All right, so this folds in here, and then our pocket on this side is done. Oh, you can make a nice fancy one. Ooh, wait just a second. Do we want that? Yeah, duh, especially the first page. I do want this. And I already know which page I want to use for that. Um, okay, this page with this piece right here, I don't think there is another bigger one. No, I think that's the one that I saw. Yes, it was. So I'm gonna cut out one piece and let's make a template for that one. So, let's use this. What's the beauty of using two scissors? <laughs> I really like the Tim Holtz one for the pointy point, the pointy ends, and especially with fussy cutting, I love it, because it's very light, but the Fiskars is also, I does not know if that has all, oh, it does, but it's a little, it's a little bit harder to hold this down with fuzzy cutting. So this is, I just like, uh, can you imagine? I just love a combination, like two paper trimmers. Who needs two paper trimmers? Well, if the combination is perfect for me, why not? Why using two scissors? Why? Because it's the combination. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. I know. All right, so we can use this already, or you can make a template with it. But I think only cutting out this is, I think for now, perfect. All right, so let's make a noise incision. It's not an incision. I call it. Okay, let me first check out what the middle is. So I can make a little... <laughs> What's the middle? This is the middle. So what I'm gonna do, depends on how deep you want it, but I just like to have this angle. So I'm just gonna put that on the bottom and then I'm gonna move it around till I am about in the middle. There we go. Okay. And that, oh, that is a nice one. Yeah, I love it. Okay, now what I like to do is cut right away the piece that I want to have on here. Um, 
not necessary, but I like that. Not necessary, but I like it. <laughs> but it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna cut this out so we can go further with what we were doing. I also like to cut out the pencil mark a little bit so I don't have to erase anything when we are done. Yes, there we go. Okay, this one. It's a little wonky. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Alright. You don't see it, but see, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Alright, so now I glue down my pockets. Pocket is wide enough so I don't have to put my bone folder in. Alright, and then we have a nice extra pocket page. Cool. Now, let's see what's next. So we have our tunnel, we have our pocket page. Now if we glue this on, then everything what I want to do on the inside needs to be flat not much space. I don't want that of course. So that's why I made a three fourth. So we can decide how wide we want it. Um, if you do if you do a one eight mm, it's gonna be a little mm, still tight I guess if you want to add pictures. Um, a one fourth I think a one fourth is cool, but I go for the in between. <laughs> That's in between the one eight and the one fourth. Do you understand that? Yes, you do. So, so that is the size that I like. The in between. <laughs> oh, nonsense! But yeah, it is. It is a truth. <laughs> Alright, so let's, um, how can I fold this nice? I normally like to lift this up because you can easily misfold this. I'm just going to take my time for this. There we go. Here we go. Yes. So everything what we put in here has that in between space. See that? That is enough space for adding a few pictures. So yes, that is what we want. So we're going to add this on here. Yeah. All the way to the left. I was almost saying if my page is too wide but it's just a fraction so that's still cool but 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 i also want to have some protection i don't know what i'm going to put on my left page maybe it's the inside cover but i definitely want to have my embellishments on and i don't want to ruin so um i'm definitely going to use again some protection pages and i think i'm going to add this in between so, so what do you think? I think then I need to have another fold line with this too. All right, if I'm gonna do that. So, of course I first grabbed my uh, piece and I cut it down the correct size, exactly the same size I like. All right. And then I made a three-fourth hinge. I just made it a little wider. So 
just to secure. But now I'm going to add another fold line. Now this is going to be difficult, I guess. Um, oops, let me put it mm, yeah. So again, I'm going to try to make the in-between, but oh my gosh, this is hard to see, but we can manage, we can manage. go yes yeah cool and now again just gonna fold it down be gentle there you go finish it down yes cool Alright, so if I now put hair tape on the end of the of the hinge. Now don't worry, we're gonna make more of these pages, so just add tape on. Also gonna cut down just a little angle. Not not the piece, only the hinge guys, not not this one. Oh my gosh, do you see that? <laughs> the hinge, not not the in between. Alright, so oh, I did not cut the correct size. Just yet. Let me do that first. Oop. Yep. All right. Let me cut that. You always can use these for windows, so don't throw it away. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now let's put it all together. So I'm going to peel off a little corner and make that flat. Here is our tunnel. Make sure you stay on the opening. It's on your left or on your right. Okay. Let's give this a go. up and burnish it down. Okay, that's our protection page with that little extra. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I think I did not put this nice and straight, but oh yeah, it is. Alright, so next we have our page. So again with this one, add tape on. Oh, these, these colors of the papers, oh, I can't get enough of it. It's so summery and spoiling. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm still in, in, is it spring? Yeah, I think I am still in the spring. When, when start the summer? I have no clue. My mother-in-law definitely knows that. I am the worst person to know what time what is. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it is. It, it, oh, yeah, no, but that's, 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 that's because it's the in-between. All right, I always thought that my page was too wide. But it's not. Okay, put it on, on the edge. There we 
go. Open this up. Put on it down. And then let's see what we have. We have that in between little gosset and also for the protection sheet that goes nicely around it. Oh my gosh, love it already. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that is our base for this page. Super cool. All right, yeah, it's shimmer, so I'm just gonna <laughs> let it open. <laughs> Cool, you even can make little pockets. Clear pockets. Ooh, wait just a second. You also can make a tiny little pocket on these sheets. Mm, not too much because they're protection sheets, Diane. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> pockets, I am really like pocket queen. <laughs> okay, let's go further. 